Hey, this is Coach Deanna, author and founder of The Winning Element. Congratulations on your purchase of The Winning Element Gold Edition. I'm so excited to unbox this and talk a little bit about why I created it and how it's relevant to you and kind of what you're gonna get from it and how to use it and really dive in and get the most from it. First thing I wanna do is number one, say thank you, and number two, tell you that I'm so excited to be a part of your process and about your growth. I was exactly like you at one point in my athlete journey, whether that's a high school athlete, a collegiate athlete, or a serious fitness enthusiast postgraduate. I was exactly like you. I wanted to be best or the best or one of the best players on the team. I wanted to push myself to be the best version of myself. And I wanted to learn. Now, I also had a ton of goals outside of just being an athlete. I wanted to look good. I want to feel great. And I want to show up for the people who are in my life. You know, everything that you're going to learn in this video and everything that you're going to learn in the program and anything else that you do with me, what you're going to learn is that everything is directly transferable to life. So whether you're going to be an athlete for the rest of your life, whether you're going to be a professional athlete or whether you're going to build a family or go into a career where you're going to be serving people in whatever way that you're going to serve them. Everything that you learn about mental and physical performance is directly transferable to everything that you're going to do in life. You know, as athletes, we do this thing where we work really, really, really hard. You know, if you're at the high school level, hopefully you're, you're working hard and you're doing that. If you're at the collegiate level, you're probably used to working your ass off and grinding and beating yourself in, into the ground. And that's like this old model of training, right? Where it's like, you have to struggle. You have to, you know, you have to be mentally tough. You have to physically exhaust yourself. You have to do all these things, right? And we've got to work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard. Now, growing up, I was really good at working hard. Unfortunately, I wasn't always working smart. So sometimes I hurt myself. Sometimes I got injured. Sometimes I wasn't able to play to the best of my ability because I wasn't fully recovered because I didn't understand the strategies on how to work smarter. You know, I've met several athletes who are no longer competing because they can't compete anymore because of the way that they used to train when they were youth athletes. I've met so many professional athletes who have careers that have shortened significantly because they weren't training smart. And that's uh, that's kind of a cool thing as you know, as you grow and as you mature, you start to learn better ways of doing things. And, and that's part of the athlete journey. And that's part of your process. You know, one of the big reasons that I wrote this book and developed this program was because I didn't have it because I didn't learn a lot of these strategies until I was done competing. And then I started doing triathlons and I was starting to learn about all these different little things that meant that. God would have made a huge difference in my ability to perform while I was a collegiate athlete. You know, the things that I learned about the ability to control my stress response and my heart rate, God, that would have been so awesome to have while I was a high school athlete when I was getting in fights with my parents or, you know, pissed off about God knows what. You know, I wish I had these, these skills to build my confidence as, as a 15 year old. You know, it's something that you, know, you get better at and better at and better at. But what if I started getting better while I was in middle school? I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have gone through the same things. It would have been very different. You know, if I would have learned smarter ways on how to eat, I would have had a more aesthetically a pleasing body. And I probably would have, wouldn't have gotten injured as much as I did because I was actually taking care of my body. You know, I can't tell me you how many years that I didn't drink high quality water and that probably damaged my gut microbiome and that probably caused some other issues. So the big, the big picture here is that we want to be working way smarter and still hard, but 
not as hard because we don't want to beat ourselves in the ground. You know, we want to have longevity in our career. We want to be able to live a long life and we want to be able to play at the top of our game and have fun while we're doing it. Right. So the next thing that I really want to talk about, and I got a couple of notes so that I stay on track in this particular video. You know, if we were doing this in a classroom, it'd be a lot more interactive. We'd have a lot more fun. I'd ask you guys a ton of questions and, um, and yeah, we'd have a lot more fun. But since, since this is a quick video and going in, got to hit on a couple of really important things so that I can get you guys off reading the book, listening to the book and really, um, experimenting with the strategies so that you can get your success and your results faster. So next thing I want to talk about is, is really peak performance. You know, a lot of us athletes know what peak performance feels like. We have an experience where we played like we were invincible. We played like nothing could stop us or like we were unstoppable because apparently I'm wearing an unstoppable shirt. How convenient. But we've all been in that space. We've been in that space where we've played out of our mind. And any time that we recall those, those memories of playing out of our minds, you know, our physiology changes, our body, you know, we, we perk up and we smile and we get excited because a little bit of that memory comes back into our body and it's a huge thing. You know, it's something, peak performance is something that athletes are always pushing towards. You know, how can we be performing at the edge of what we're capable of? How can we take on challenges that are slightly above or slightly outside of our skill development and reach? And um, it's a magical experience. You know, think back to a peak performance state where, where you were playing out of your mind. It's magic. You're present, you remember everything, and it's just fun. And it's one of those rare and peak experiences of your life that you will likely remember forever. So the whole goal of, and I guess not the whole goal, but a big piece of your sport is being able to perform at your best when it matters most, right? So being able to perform mentally and physically, and we all know those athletes who are genetically gifted and who, um, we'll say volleyball because that's my sport, but who are genetically gifted, they're stacked, tack, 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 tack. their body looks banging, they can jump out of the gym, everything's great. But when the pressure's on and they get into a situation, they just mentally gone, right? Conversely, we have those athletes who aren't as genetically gifted. They might not be the right body frame or the body type for their position or their sport. But when the pressure's on or when they get in the game or sometimes when it's just any game, you know that mentally they are locked in, they're 100% and they're making decisions that are best for the team and they're just performing out of their mind. Some people just rise to the occasion like that. You know, all sports, all activities have a mental and a physical component to it, right? So my framework for peak performance really brings in, again, that mental and the physical aspect. You know, if you're looking at the book, which I guess I'll get out and unbox now for you. If you're looking at the book, what you're going to see is this really cool circle that's got on the top. It's all the mental, so you have hydration, or all the physical. You have hydration, nutrition, movement, and recovery. And then on the bottom is all of the mental stuff, so confidence, energy management, visualization, and self-talk, and resilience. So this is the physical and the mental. These are all of the things that really contribute to our ability to perform on and off the court. You know, if we want to get better at, an, at anything, or whether it's, again, it's sport or it's some other skill or your job, whatever. I told you, everything's directly transferable. But we're just going to go with sport right now. If you want to get better at your sport, there's going to be some aspects of each of these different things that you're going to need to do to get better. You know, if you want to perform physically, you have to be hydrating. It's so important. If you're not supporting yourself with the right nutrition for your goals, You'll learn a lot more about that. It's a touchy subject and everybody doesn't want to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it and you're going to learn some great stuff. But if you're not fueling for your goals or for performance, there's going to be some physical breakdown. You know, if you're not doing supportive strength and conditioning, if you're not stretching, if you're not, if you're not 
doing the physical things, the, the movements, right? You're not doing the movements that you need to do to support your sport. You're going to have some problems. And if, you know, let's say all of that is perfect, right? Your hydration, nutrition, your movement is all perfect. But if you're not sleeping and if you're not recovering properly, all of those performance gains, they don't matter anymore. If you are not sleeping well, and it's not about hours, which you'll learn in the book, but if you're not taking care of that recovery piece, everything else doesn't matter. You can have perfect nutrition, but if you're sleeping like crap, it does not matter. Again, you're going to learn more about this in the book. It's very important. You know, on the mental side, you know, if we don't have um, a healthy self-identity, if we don't have self-worth, if we don't have confidence, if we don't have the ability to control our physiology, in other words, our ability to control our stress response, we can't take advantage of any of our physical gifts. We can practice and practice and practice, but if we literally can't control our heart rate, guess what? None of that stuff matters at all. You know, if we, um, you know, if we have really poor and negative self-talk, all of the things that, that we're doing, guess what? We're going to be beating ourselves up on. And that stuff, that's constant, right? So the big picture here is that it's important. It's important to understand the big picture of performance, that it's mental and physical, and that there are things that you're going to need to do and things that you're going to need to learn to really level up and get better. So the, one of the first things that you're going to do, and I'll give you the page number now, but I'll also give you the website so that you can do it there because this would involve math. And for me, that math is a significant growth area. And this does all of the math online for you. So if you're like me and need some help with math, then you can do it online. And if you're feeling like a math whiz or feeling like you need some practice, you could do it in the book. And it's also in the planner and it's the winning element assessment and that's www.thewinningelementassessment.com and you might actually do that as a team or you might have already done it and this is something the assessment is something that you can do you can do every month you can do every year you can do whenever you want but it what it does is it gives you a snapshot of where you are right now in terms of your strengths and weaknesses in each of these areas so it's 10 questions in each category, and that's going to tell you where you're at. You know, if you, my favorite thing to do, if I was there, what I probably would have had to do or what I would have had you do, and you can do it if you want to. As a matter of fact, you can. Um, you can you can just write out, you know, each one of the little things, and you can say on a scale of 1 to 10 where you're at. And so you'll be like, hydration, 5, nutrition, 6. And then when you do the assessment, go back and double check what you thought you were versus the assessment. I guarantee some of you are going to lie and you're going to be humbled. You're going to be humbled because we don't know what we don't know until we know that we didn't know. All right. So next thing I want to talk about. So like I said, assessment, very, very important. You know, the rest of the book, it's really going to go through the entire athlete journey. So you're going to learn a little bit about me in there, but this book is not about me. My stories are pretty interesting. Um, and there's a ton of stories that aren't in there because my life has been, again, very interesting. Um, but there's a little bit about me. Um, most of them are tied to a lot of um, the performance aspects. So you get to learn, again, more about me. Uh, but this book is about you. This book is about me helping you get your success. You know, there's no one size fits all solution in anything ever. And what this book really and program really helps you do is strategize different ways. There's never gonna be one recommendation. There's always five or 10 or 20. So you wanna pick things that you actually want to do, like strategies that you like to do, and then try them, see if they work. And try them for a significant amount of time. Don't do that, oh, I tried it for one day and it didn't work for me, so I'm never doing it again. It's BS and it's cop out and it's excuses. It's not okay. Like I tried to eat healthy once, so I'm never doing it again an excuse. So with these strategies, what you're going to want to do is try them. See if they work. If you don't like them, if they don't work for you, try another strategy. Nutrition is the one that a lot of people have a hard time with. 
they'll say, oh, well, I tried that and it didn't work. Well, it might not have been your nutrition. It might have been your recovery. Or maybe you just had bad quality food. Or maybe your body wasn't digesting it because you have a digestion issue. You never really know. So once you learn more, you'll start to be able to put these things all together. Um, you know, I do this with my professional athletes all the time where we start to look at the different aspects and we start to see and they're like, well, I tried that already. And I was like, well, what else was going on? And we start to go down the rabbit hole on what it could have been. And we find out that it was completely something else and had nothing to do with whatever the thing that they were fighting me on trying. So the cool thing about this book and this program is that there's hundreds of strategies in here for mental and physical performance enhancement. Um, don't try to do them all at once. Choose a couple, you know, in your, as we'll go through, in your planner, there's a spot where you're going to be um, writing down your winning habits that you're going to be doing every week. Don't try to do 20 of them. It's really hard to make changes like that. Unless you're superwoman or superman and you want to go do that, be my guest. You can try it. Let me know if it works. In my experience and a lot of the athletes that I work with, you know, they start small. They start with stuff that they know they can do and they pair the things, the strategies, right? So, you know, if we're talking about visualization, maybe you pair visualization with using the restroom or you pair visualization with taking a shower or you pair affirmations with putting your socks on. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But anyways, um, in this book too, if you go to page 261 or 260, you're going to start to see these strategy sheets. These are super helpful because they've got pictures. So these got pictures right here. You can start to see a lot of the strategies. These are like cliff notes for this book. So I hope you read this book. It's going to change your life. But even if you just, if you don't read this book and all you do is do some of the things that are on here, your life is going to change. You should also read the book. It's not that long and you will learn things. But if you do these, most importantly, if you do these, these things are, <laughs> these things are going to change your life. As you can see, we've got peak performance in there. This is really hard to do backwards. You get my, you get my drift, right? So we got confidence in there. Cliff notes, very important. Your cliff notes are also available in the planner. You know, after you read the book or listen to the book because you guys got the audio book, fun fact about the audio book is that I recorded it myself and Halfway through, I realized that I had a severe sinus, sinus infection. Um, so half of the book is my normal voice, and then half of the book is not my normal voice. So look forward to that, because fun fact, I almost died. It was not good. So the cool thing, the cool thing about the audiobook is that you can listen to it anytime, anywhere. And there's no excuse. There's no excuse for not getting this content. You know, mastering this content, you're not going to do it in two weeks. You're not going to do it in a month and you're not going to do it in a year. Just because you get this information doesn't necessarily mean that you're putting it into practice. You know, you're not going to see results if you do not do the work. You're going to have to identify, you're going to have to do that assessment. So the winning element assessment, you want to do that. You want to figure out you know, your top three areas, and you're going to, you're going to be able to look in on there. You're going to identify some things that you want to change in, you know, to help you level up. And then you're going to try strategies to help you level up. And then you're going to make adjustments along the way. And these things take time. And then you're going to learn some more stuff and you're going to make some more adjustments. And then your goals are going to change and that's going to completely blow everything else up. And you're going to have to start from zero again and, and, try something new. But this is what the athlete journey is. This is what the athlete journey is. It's constantly making adjustments and trying new things because you have different goals or you have different pieces of information that come towards you. So just know that this is a, this is a lifetime adventure. This isn't something that you, you're just going to do in six months and you're going to be done. Or this is just a team program and this is great and you're going to learn some stuff and then you're going to learn and it's going to be there. No. 
you have to be actively doing this stuff. This is, these are things that if you continue to do, it's going to change your life and they're just going to be foundational pieces for your entire life. Again, if you're in high school, this is going to be huge for you. If you're in college, you need to start doing this now because if not, you're going to end up as a 23 or a 25 year old or a 30 year old. And you're, you're going to be like, oh man, wish I would have known that when I was younger. Well, guess what? I'm giving you the thing that I wish that I had while I was your age. I'm making this easy for you. Not easy. It's probably simple. I'm making this simple for you. This is what I wish existed. So, and your coach, whoever, whoever helped you guys get this, this is so important. This is such an important message. And I know that you're really going to learn a lot from it. And if you take action on these strategies, you're going to unlock your true potential and you're going to really see yourself blossom. You're really going to be able to perform on and off the court. You're going to be able to hit all those goals and you're really going to be able to have fun in your life. So enough about the book. Let's talk about this sleek and nice planner. Check out the gold on that. Very nice. All right. So in the planner, if you haven't done so already, you guys, you guys need to join the journey and follow on all the social media stuff. If you can go over to the podcast and leave a review because I appreciate that. And there's also really great stories on there that you guys are going to enjoy. So this one, it starts off with the winning element worksheets. This thing right here, the breaking it down, this gives you examples of what goes where. So even if you don't pay attention to this video, you should be able to look at this and be good to go. So winning element worksheets are great. We go through all that stuff. And then so we go peak performance, the winning element assessment. That's what I meant to say. So we go through the winning element assessment. You guys get where that's at. And then there's a ton of worksheets. And these are all worksheets that you can do. You can just do separately from the book. So it's not like you have to read the book and then do the worksheets. These worksheets normally take time. Sometimes if you're really focused, you can you can like dial it in and get all these answers or really um, get your head together about it in an hour or two. Or you can or you can just like, you know, five minutes here, 10 minutes there and then go back and do them again. Um, I find that my answers change a lot. And this is a lot of these worksheets have been things that I've been doing for the last 10 years. I can literally look from. 10 years ago, and I can see my growth. I can see how my vision has changed. I can see how, I can see how my values have shifted and how things have gotten different. So, you know, hopefully this isn't just a one year and done thing. Hopefully this is something that you do every single year so that you can start to see the growth. It's, it's amazing what happens when you start to, to really become more aware of your vision and your values and your mission and just where you're at. Just doing the assessment is gonna really help too. And we have, like I said, mission, core beliefs. Whew, that's a good one. Break some of your guys' world, I'll tell you. That's a, that's a game-changing worksheet if you do it right. Reflection, reflection is incredibly important. That's a really cool thing to focus on. Gratitude so important so needed and guess what it feels good so you should definitely do it every day which you will every day you know the the wheel of life assessment is pretty cool because it helps um it helps you understand balance or understand where you're at in your world um every time that i've done these uh wheel of life assessments it's very similar to the winning element assessment it just has a different thing that you're assessing um but the circle is really cool because it starts you start to see how your life is not rolling smoothly how it kind of explains why you might be um, experiencing friction so this one really big this talks about goal setting I wish that I had learned how to set goals strategically when I was your age that's both high school and college um, after goal setting you know we talk about winning habits a lot Winning habits are, you know, you can set all the goals in the world that you want. Great. You set a bunch of goals. But if you're not doing the winning habits that takes to achieve the goals, doesn't even matter. 
So if you're going to focus on anything, focus on what you're doing versus what you're striving for. But it's important to know what you're going towards so that you can take the right steps to get there. Okay, after that, we're going to talk about rituals and routines. This is super powerful, really cool thing that you're going to be able to focus on making your own rules. Rules are ugly, but they're also really cool because they help you achieve your goals. And if you set good rules, they're kind of fun. Next thing is the strategy the strategy sheets, which you kind of just went over or what it, which we just went over in the book, but this is conveniently located where you're going to be tracking your winning habits. Imagine that. So after we go through all of this stuff, we are going into the 365 day dynamic planner. This is a journey overview. This is my favorite page always. And this is where one that I actually bookmark when, when I use mine. And yes, I do use this every single day. So what's cool about the journey overview is that all of those worksheets that you just did, you're going to input some of the big answers in here so that this is a place that you can always come and you can see, you can be reminded of your vision, your three most important values, your three highest scores for the assessment, your three lowest scores, your three biggest goals for the year, your three important winning habits, and also your power word and success in one word. And this is kind of one of those like North stars of, of this program is being able to come back and get focused on the things that really matter. And every year, this every season, every year, these things are going to be different. But having a place where you can go back and say, okay, what's my real focus is so important. All right. So let's get to, so this has 2018, 2019, 2020. Why? Because that's what I chose to do so that everybody can be happy for the next three years and the year before. All right. So in 2019, this is the big thing, right? So right now at the recording of this video, we are in 2019. Let's, um, let's go with August because it's hot and I like August. So in August, what we're going to do, so with the monthly overview, you'll see that each one of these is like, it starts with the first, second, third, and there's a gray bar right on top of that. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to this monthly calendar and you're going to say, okay, August 1st is a Thursday. So up here, Above, in the gray, above August 1st, you're going to write Thursday, and then you're going to write Friday, and you're going to write Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A lot of times what I do with my weekends is I put two lines down so that I know I know when my weekends are. And this this just helps so that you you have consistency. So it's not like January 2020, February 2020. You can start this anytime any place. And that's one of the things that was important while I was designing this is being able to, to start anywhere in the year and really use it for the entire year. So after this, we go through, you're going to have your normal Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday is pretty cool. You can log your hours slept. This is important, not because of the hours slept, as you will learn in the book, but just because if you start to see that you have four, 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 this is just another level of awareness so that you can make an adjustment. You know, a lot of times we go through our week and we're like, God, oh, I'm so tired. Why? Well, I didn't sleep very well. Yeah. But you can't remember probably because you didn't sleep very well, but we have a hard time remembering. So if you have it tracked here and you have to adhere to it, you know, hey, girl, boy, got to go to bed earlier. Okay. So the next thing underneath that is going to be gratitude. And this is important because it's three things that you're grateful for today. Sometimes I do it in the morning. Sometimes I do it in the evening. Um, sometimes I put more than three because I'm a grateful person and I like celebrating things that make me feel happy. So knock yourself out with gratitude on that. Big thing on this one is going to be the winning habits. So for me, some of mine will be eat clean or no sugar. Ugh so hard but it's so worth it so some of my winning habits are cold shower um eating clean um journaling uh what are some of my other ones my big ones um 
sometimes their performance stuff. Um, but yeah, those are like some of the ones that are always in mind. And I can put my goal. So the goal can be set, you know, one day or, you know, one day, two day, three day, four day, seven day, whatever. You can put that. And then each of these, you're able to make a check mark so that you know, hey, you checked it off. And then you can write your to do's, your notes. And all of this is available for you to do whatever you want with. Make it beautiful. If you want, take a picture. If your stuff is really cool, um, you can you can direct message me on at the winning element on Instagram. And then if uh, if you direct message it to me, I will post it because I love posting them. They're so cool. I love seeing what people are doing. And I also like really cool um, like um, art and calligraphy. So if you have beautiful penmanship or if your stuff just looks cool, I would love to see your week. Moving on, we've got Saturday, Sunday, and then we have a bigger to-do spot. You can put lyrics, notes, doodles, whatever makes your heart sing. And then every week at the end of the week, you're going to have this weekly recap. You're going to have your three big wins. You're going to check in and you're going to check in on a scale of one to five with your happiness, your stress, your attitude, and your balance. And if you go like this, you can start to see, oh, well, this is this week and that's last week. This is doing, I'm doing it in the round way, but this is this week and this is last week. You can start to see, oh man, I've had like three months where, or three weeks where I'm super stressed out. Something's got to change. Again, it's just an additional level of awareness that helps you make positive changes that help you perform and also feel really great because you deserve that. Okay. So these are, these questions, sometimes I get to the end of the week and the last thing I want to do is is fill this out. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I do it anyways. And it takes me way shorter than I, than I remember every time. So some, I feel like it's going to be like this 30 minute thing. It takes two minutes Two. it literally takes two minutes. Just do it. It's fine. It's easy. And when you start to do them, you're like, Oh, so glad that I did it. All right. So at the end of the month, you're going to have a monthly one that looks like this. So this one, this one is going to be a mini wheel of life. So it just gives you a check-in on balance. That's important. Um, and then you're going to have your top five achievements. Who doesn't like talking about what awesome things they did? Exactly. Everyone. And then you're going to do your goal review. So what did you accomplish? Why or why not? You're going to talk about gratitude and those questions actually rotate. So um, you're going to get different questions almost every time. There's a couple that are duplicated, but it's really cool. So the more that we can talk about it and really say what we're grateful for, um, the better off we'll be. And then the last part of this that's always there is, are you maximizing your mental and physical performance and what implement, what winning habits can you implement next month? So if we're always doing these assessments or we're always taking data or we're always checking in with ourselves, we can make adjustments along the way. If we just coast, it makes it very difficult to number one, celebrate and see results. It two, if something's not working, it doesn't give us the opportunity to change because we're not realizing it. And three, um, you need to know these things, especially as a collegiate athlete, like you need to know these things. Professional athlete, if you're not doing this, you're not, you're not doing life right. This is really important. Okay. Last thing we're going to talk about with this is going to be there's some notes and ideas and um, insights and doodle space on the back for you. And, and yeah, that's pretty much the winning element 365 day dynamic planner. You know, I'm really excited about you guys to use this and to really see the benefits of it. I'm excited to hear feedback on it. So you can always direct message me. You can reach me at the winning element on Instagram, um, Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and all of those places. Um, as far as the book resources go, there are a ton of really cool book resources at www.bethewinningelement.com slash book resources. And that's going to give you <laughs> clip clickable 
clickable links to um, to more information. So let's say um, let's say you're really into. I've been picking on nutrition a lot. Just say you're really into recovery. You really want to know how to get the best quality sleep. You really, really, really want to know that. Well, I've included a ton of links to articles, to podcasts, to YouTube videos, um, and to actual like scientific research. So if you want to geek out, go on, go on ahead. You know, this book, you know, my publisher was like, this, this book is when I first wrote it, um, it was double the size and they were like, yeah, we have to cut it in half. So like, I understand that with eight topics, if this is a big picture view and most people, most athletes don't understand the big picture and they don't understand the, you know, the hydration 101, the nutrition 101, you know, the movement 101. We just don't get that because we're too busy, you know, practicing, working hard and, you know, trying to keep up our grades and be good at school and have friends and not be drained. Like there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff to learn and it's not easy. So I'm trying to make this as easy as I possibly can for you. So enjoy. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and reach out. Until next time, train with purpose, play with passion, and seize the day every day.